I'm meteorologist Karen Williams, and as you can see on our radar and satellite, most of the showers stayed down to our south along the I-20 corridor, a lot of the bigger storms down in parts of Louisiana. But for the immediate delta, all things are very quiet, although they are hazy and they are humid. I will have your complete forecast coming up as the Delta News at 10 Weekend Edition starts now. News that works for you. This is the Delta News at 10. Well, Tamara, outside our studios, we have partly cloudy conditions out there and it's definitely very muggy out there. How long will the muggies last? I will have your out the door forecast after the break. In your weather headlines, we are in an unsettled pattern, and that's going to continue for the next few days. We we'll, can expect those spotty showers and thunderstorms likely, but they are going to be sporadic. Not everyone's going to see them. And, of course, we have that summertime classic Delta pattern of hazy, hot, and humid conditions. More on that in a moment. Now, as we look at our satellite and radar, you can see most of the showers are down to our south, and they're pretty much scattered in nature, the heaviest of which are down in parts of Louisiana and off to our east in eastern Mississippi and parts of Alabama. But for the immediate delta, things are dry. Well, one or two showers just south of Greenville, just around in Rolling, um, Rolling Forks. So for the most part, things are going to remain pretty much unsettled. Now, as we look at another view here, we're going to zoom in just a little bit further. You can see most of the clouds are down to our south, and pretty much you can see one or two popcorn variety showers that are moving through, and this is going to be the pattern for as far ahead as we can see. There's nothing really in line to push everything out of here. So unfortunately, folks, this is the classic pattern. Now, looking at your out-the-door forecast, we have partly cloudy conditions by 7 a.m., 77 degrees, then 1 p.m. One or two of you may see a scattered shower or thunderstorm, 89 degrees, and then by 7 p.m., again, lingering shower here or there, 86 degrees. Now, right now in Greenwood, it's 79 degrees. We're looking at winds at about south, southwest at 5 miles per hour, that dew point. That's that key thing right there. 76 degrees, that's why it feels so sticky out. The humidity at 90%, another thing. So it's going to feel like 81 outside. So you compound all those things together, it's unbearable out there. Greenville, you have 77 degrees, southerly winds 7 miles per hour, dew point 73 degrees, humidity at 88%, and that index at 77 degrees. Lows tonight, they're not going to be low. They're going to be in the mid-70s with 73 in Indianola, 74 in Hollandale, and 75 down in Lake Providence. And we're looking at our future cast. Again, those temperatures are going to move up into the 90s, one or two showers here and there. But by Monday, things are going to really kind of light up a little bit more. But as we get further into the week, definitely the more increase. Temperature trend for the week, we're way above normal with temperatures in the 90s for the most part. And our chances for rain every day this week, the greatest chance will be on Thursday. There should be a line that's going to move in and give us some heavy showers. Looking at the river stages at Greenville, 31.9, that is the reading. And then the projection for Thursday, 30.8. And for the Yazoo River, 21.7 and then 21.4 for the projection for Thursday. Your forecast, 75 degrees with isolated showers possible, partly cloudy. And then for tomorrow, we're looking at clouds mixed with sun with possibility of scattered rain and thunderstorms, 92 degrees. It will be breezy. Looking ahead at that seven-day forecast, our temperatures will be in the low to mid-90s with breezy conditions with chances for showers each and every day. Thursday and Friday will be the heaviest chance for those thunderstorms. Yeah, Karen, look at all that yes. rain. I think it'll be even more humid than it usually is. <laughs> oh, yeah, exactly, exactly. We're going to get to finally some pictures, viewer pictures. We had some technical issues last week. We still have a few now, but yes. we're going we're to make it work. Oh, look at that, Karen, <laughs> yeah. right off yeah. the top. Right Surprise. off the top. Surprise. <laughs> that is a Fort Smith sunset. And 
reason why Taryn knows that one yes, so I well. Yes, I do. That's my mom loves sunsets. Mama Lopez set that <laughs> in. So thank you again, Miss Barbara, for that picture. Our next one we're looking at. Oh, that's God, really that's beautiful. Pretty. That is Looks set like in. A painting. It was set in by Jerry Rita Ray but it was taken by Mark Bruna. So he used to live here in Greenville, but now he's in Tennessee. So that's a Tennessee sunset very right pretty. there. It looks like a painting. Yes, it, it does. Real. It's very pretty. Now the next one is going to be totally the opposite here. Oh, very look, cool. Look, 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 that's a cool cloud, but <laughs> it's some nasty, and <laughs> nasty clouds there. Yeah, from, definitely. From Randolph and Renova. So thank you very much for sending that in. And our finally, our group of pictures that we have. Oh, nice little we series. Have a trio of clouds here we have storm clouds we have sunrise and then we have also rain clouds at that so <laughs> we had that and that was sent in by Shakira Ware so thank you one and all for all those pictures we really had a nice time showing you those pictures and if you have any additional photos that you would like to send us you can send it in at kwilliams at deltanews.tv, and we'll do our best to get that on. Karen, uh, we had a lot of great photos. I'm a little biased. I think my I have to choose my mom's as my favorite. <laughs> There's, everything else was second, though, I have to say. But sorry, mom's got to take uh, number one there. <laughs> I won't tell. <laughs> it's a secret. We won't tell everyone. But thank you guys for all those amazing yes, photos. We yes. have so many great nature photographers, oh, so yeah. keep sending those in. Yes. Definitely. All right. Well, coming up after the break, the European Union is finalizing a list of countries allowed to travel in Europe as restrictions lift. We'll have details on that coming up. No, I think.